Hang on. Let's do this again. Woo! Hey, free birds. Welcome to another episode. So we are here today to talk about no food for 28 days. Okay, no food for 28 days. Hi, guys in the chat room. Hey. Hey, live stream team. We are going to watch um, No Food for 28 Days. Okay, this is by the pro gamer J, all right? He has over 2 million subscribers. All right, this guy is really reaching a lot of people. He is re reaching a lot. So the message that he's putting out has to be one that is empowering. Okay, so she's taking her time. Why am I not turning up? Hey, hey, everybody. Everybody should be able to see me now. So, all right, so today's video, consuming nothing but water can kill you if done incorrectly. Please do not try this at home without medical supervision. I am not responsible for your health. Okay, so he's put this medical um, warning at the start of the video, which is really, really good. So hi, hi to you guys, you're just, just tuned in right now. So he's put this at the start, which is great. All right, so let's start watching this video together. In this video, I genuinely do go 28 days without eating anything or drinking anything other than water. Please do not try this at home as this genuinely can lead to death if done incorrectly. For a start, I just want to say I'm really happy that he put this medical disclaimer because what he's doing is, is starving himself and he is being honest about it and he's saying, look, don't do this at home. You know, I did it at home, but don't you guys do it at home. I'm not responsible for your health. All right, let's get into it. Yo guys, what is going on? It's me, the pro gamer Jay here. Um, I know this is probably a different video to normal, but basically what you're seeing now, if this all goes to plan, is me, I don't know, three to six months ago. I just don't feel, you know, comfortable or happy about my body. So the reason I wanted to do this video today is, well, if this video actually makes it onto YouTube, then it probably means I've lost a bit of weight. Um, at the moment, I honestly feel really uncomfortable with the top off just because I am really overweight, but I'm going to show you guys what I look like now. Ah. Uh. I already like feel really so sorry for this guy. I don't know whether it's the sad music or just the fact that he's being so vulnerable. Like I genuinely feel for him and you know, he's, he's talking about, you know, not feeling good about his body and we can all relate to that. Right. Right. In the chat room, we can all relate to not feeling good about our body. And I think it's really brave of him to, to come on here. Like I haven't watched this yet. So to come on here and show his body, this is really, really brave of him. Let's keep going. Anyway, yeah, if you guys could drop a like, that would be awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. I then went on holiday and shortly after Christmas happened, I fell back to my old bad eating habits. I okay, so he's just shown his body and he's shown a little bit of progress because he started to eat healthy. And um, but predictably, he would have under eaten for how much weight he has on him currently. So he needs to reach a certain amount of calories at this point, you know, to actually lose weight. See, fat burns in the flame of carbohydrates, okay? So we need to actually ingest enough carbohydrates to burn fat efficiently. But if he's under eating and starving himself, then he's going to become like binge prone and he's just going to you know, gain all the weight back. And that's what happened. So I put on 10 kilos. So it was back to 100 kilos, which was really upset for me, 
upset me after the hard work I put in. I can totally relate. Totally. You know, if you do it the wrong way and you're not even aware of it, it's it's heartbreaking. It really, really is. You know what it's like to try and lose weight. It can be very, very difficult if you are going about it the wrong way. I put on 10 kilograms, so it was back to 100 kilograms, which really upset me after all the hard work I had put in. On February the 7th, I decided to go one whole month without consuming anything but water. This is called Bad. water fasting. Now this Bad. is what I looked like pretty much before I started the water fast. This isn't actually footage of me before the water fast, but this video shows the exact same weight I was before the water fast, just so you can get an idea of how much weight I actually lost. Mm. Okay, so this is a massive transformation as you can see here. And I can tell, you know, by the music in the background, like he's really, you know, he feels strong and powerful and he's like motivated and he's like, yes, this worked. He's really, really happy. And I can imagine, I mean, like I have fasted before. Okay. I have fasted in the past for 10 days. All right. On water only. And what I did is I went to the gym and I still trained clients at the time. I was a personal trainer and I was still training clients, sometimes up to seven people a day. I was not eating a thing. I was eating absolutely nothing. And I started to get some real problems, which I'll talk about more soon if I remember. Um, but let's keep going with this. But you can see, look, you can see that the, the difference here is very significant. Um, is it healthy? Is starvation healthy? Let's keep going. Oh, this guy, I really feel for the guy, this guy. He, you know, it's a, it's quite an achievement to not eat for 28 days. It's not something I'd ever, ever recommend it, recommend. It is starvation, but it is still, it takes some discipline to stop yourself eating for 28 days. I know I had to really, really, you know, inspire myself and read a lot of stuff about fasting. And I'm sure he has too. And just, you know, get my strength up in order to not eat because you are saying no to your appetite. And that's never a good thing. When you're saying, when your brain's saying eat, 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 and you're saying no, that's never a good thing. Amanda, Amanda, thank you. Thank you for the donation. I love you too. I appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. So let's keep going. <laughs> Amanda Walker. And this is what I look like now wow. and in total i've actually managed to drop 52 pounds which is equivalent to roughly 23 kilograms i think it is i still haven't even eaten yet i'm on day 28 of my fast i'm actually going to eat um in like an hour now i know you've probably got loads of questions like how are you still alive <laughs> why don't you look like a zombie and i, I mean i do look like a, a bit like a zombie i'm not gonna lie and I he looks so different. He really, really looks different. I can imagine him feeling so excited. He's going to be like, look at me, you know, like I'm looking all buff. You know, I've transformed myself. And he's going to be really, really just like using that to fuel him to keep going. And let's listen to more. I know that there's also going to be so many people in the comments section being like, Jay, you're obviously bullshitting. You can't go that long without food or any calories at all other than water, which doesn't have any calories in it. But just to prove to you guys that I actually have been on a water fasting, the main thing to prove that you're actually on a water fast is your tongue goes completely white. And this is because when you're on a water fast, you detox all the shit out of your body. And a lot of that ends up on your tongue. So I'm just gonna show well, it's, it's actually, you know, dead skin cells on your tongue, a little bit of detox as well, but people who aren't fasting can also get a white coated tongue. You can go and look in the mirror now, guys, look in the mirror now at your tongue and let's see what color it is. Let's we'll see if it's got a coating or not. I'll show you my tongue. Nice. All right, white, disgusting looking layer to it. I've actually got to brush that off every day. Otherwise it really does build up and if you still don't believe me i mean just watch a video from me like three weeks ago i look like a pretty much a different person now i know the majority of you are still gonna think i'm an absolute idiot for fasting but let's just tell you why i actually wanted to start fasting 
Look, I don't see him as an idiot at all, okay? Because I've done it myself as well and I understand why people want to do it. I understand completely. We want to lose weight, you know, as a whole, like the, the planet is basically so focused. Of course, not people who are starving, obviously, in countries where they're not getting enough food, but the Western world is focused so much on losing weight, 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 weight loss. It's all about that. So I understand, you know, why he did this. I completely understand. And it's, it's difficult to, you know, to get these results and then, you know, for the results to go after that. So let's have a look. Pretty much a whole month. Basically, over Christmas, I put on about 10 kilograms or 22 pounds, I think that is. And, you know, I'd been losing weight for quite a while and I'd actually lost about 30 or 40 pounds. I'd managed to get down to 90 kilograms. So putting on 10 kilograms, it just really upset me. And I wanted to get that Christmas weight off as soon as I could, really. I couldn't really be asked to then go and diet for another two months to just get that off. So I've actually got a personal trainer. I'm going to link his Instagram down below. If you have any questions for him about water. Okay. Oh, Peter Quinn. Peter Quinn, thank you for that donation. And stay gold freely. I will stay gold. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. I'm going to buy more bananas with that. I'm going to buy more bananas. Oh, oh going to buy more bananas. Woo. <laughs> Woo. I need some more. Okay. All right, let's keep going. All right, so he's explaining. He's explaining why. Fasting, then you can ask him as well. Well, at first, I started water fasting pretty much only for weight loss. But I was quite scared because I told my mum and everyone that I was water fasting and they're all like, well, you're going to die. I mean, you're going to kill yourself. You can't go that long without food. But my personal trainer was saying you can go that long without food and it's actually quite healthy to do so. So I was getting two different stories. Okay. It is not healthy to do this, okay? It is not healthy to fast for 28 days. That, look, I've been in the raw food movement for over, over a decade and I know people who fast. I know people who actually take fasting and they're like the, teacher, the teachers. And, you know, I respect these people, but I don't uh, recommend fasting at all, okay? This is not healthy for you. When I did my 10 days fasting, I remember I was lying on the bed one day and um, I actually got electric shocks up my body like seriously electric shocks up my body and this I later learned okay I was looking on a forum and I was saying oh you know it's just detoxing keep going don't worry about the electric shock feeling it's okay that's just detoxing no it's actually an electrolyte imbalance okay I was risking a heart attack okay so I was like, I was still doing things, which is, I don't recommend. If you're fasting, you don't do anything. You just lie down. But I was still doing things. I was still sweating. So I was losing electrolytes, okay? And my potassium balance, my potassium, sodium, calcium balance was just way out of whack. And that's how you can actually cause a heart attack in yourself. And this is what happens to anorexics a lot of the time, like serious anorexics. So it is not a healthy thing to do at all, okay? Please... Don't even think that for a moment. It's like a desperate thing to do. It's starvation and your body will always fight back. Stories here. So you know what? I decided to sit down and do my own research. And you know what I came across? I actually came across that fasting is one of the healthiest things you can do to your body if you do it safely. If you do it dangerously, then yes, it can actually kill you. But if you know what you're doing, it can actually be really healthy for you. I'm going Okay, so I can understand at this point him feeling that way because this is just after he finished. He's liking the way he looks. He's liking the way he feels. He's like, this works. I've got results here. So I can understand him feeling all like hyped up and like, this is good for you. It's not good for you though. It is not. Starvation, forced starvation is never good for you. When your brain is saying to you, go and eat, it needs nutrition. Okay, you need to listen to your brain when it's speaking to you. It is asking for nutrition for a reason, but you just have to be smart. You know, you just have to be smart about what you feed your brain, right? Fruit bats in the chat. You have to be like, just, just smart about what you feed your body. Don't eat crap. Or if you're eating crap, eat it minimally. Oh, thank you. Jen donated $1. Thank you very much, Jen. I appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. Your friend, Jen. Cool. I'm going to explain why in a minute, but fasting can actually help prevent cancer by up to 50%. It can even cure cancer. You can get rid of things like Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, heart disease, and it can even reverse 
the aging process. And I'm oh. going to explain to you why this all happens. There's a bit of, bit of cherry picking with that science there. A little bit of cherry picking. In a second. But first, I want to tell you what it was like for my first hand experience of fasting. Now, there's this myth that seems to be going around that fasting <clears throat> makes you lose a load of muscle. I'm just going to confirm with a picture on the screen right now that this isn't true because this is what I look like coming out of the shower earlier today. And as you can see here, I've actually still kept quite a lot of muscle. And okay, he's saying he kept quite a lot of muscle. Thank you, your friend Jen, for the $2. What I think about keto vegan. I'm definitely, I'm going to talk about this more. I'm going to have more discussion at the end of this video. So definitely ask me that a question again. I appreciate the um the donation though very very nice um okay so he's like i've still got muscle but the thing is he's lost so much water weight okay he's lost so much water weight from his muscles he's actually lost he would have lost some muscle too which is metabolically active tissue we don't want to lose muscle but when you starve yourself for an extended period you will lose some muscle especially if you're still doing things during that time okay and yes you may lose some fat but that fat is going to come back, all right? The fat will come back. Um, and the water weight, it is definitely going to be, um, it's gonna be, for him, it's probably almost 50% of the weight he lost was actually water weight. Oh, another donation. This is pretty sweet, guys. Thank you. Fungo, I really hope he will he hear your precious advice. Thank you very much, Fungo. And at the gym, That's I still really genuinely kept a fair bit of strength. Obviously, I'm a weaker because I've got no food in me, but I really haven't lost that much muscle. And that's after a month of not eating anything or drinking anything but water. Now, the main myth when it comes... Okay, he is just guessing he hasn't lost a lot of muscle because he's seeing himself leaner, he's flexing and everything like that. He's like, oh, I still have muscle. No, you've just lost the fat, like some of the fat, and you've lost some of the water weight around the muscle and it, it makes the muscle come to the surface so you look leaner and you look more muscular. But you're just dehydrated. That's the thing. Jay, you are just dehydrated. So that's not a good way to lose weight. Or to starve yourself, obviously. When it comes to fasting is that, you know, you lose muscle and your body starts eating away at your vital organs. This only happens when you starve yourself. And you might be thinking, well, surely going 28 days without food is starving yourself. Starving yourself and fasting are actually two very different things. Starvation is where you've run out of body fat and then your body starts feeding on your muscles. But fasting is... No, it's still starvation. Starvation is when you actually stop eating and you deliberately stop eating and you have no calories coming in. So your body then has to turn to its glucose, its glycogen stores, which you will lose. You will use up your glycogen, your sugar stores within a day or two. Okay, so you use that up and then you're going to turn to fat and then you're going to turn to muscle and the fluid is going to be, lo you're going to be losing that at the same time. So it's not a very healthy way it's to lose weight. It's actually the process where you have excess body fat and your body feeds off your body fat to stay alive. Your body doesn't feed off your muscles and when it does, it does everything it can to protect your vital organs so it doesn't eat off your heart anyway. It's actually not true that it doesn't feed off your muscles. Okay, it might be um, for the 28 days, it might be not as much muscle, there's more fat fed off but the fat will come back and we're going to talk about that soon we're going to show you how it can come back ways now i know there's going to be this question that you're all wondering jay how the fuck have you managed to go this long without food like aren't you starving hungry like you must be hungry out of your freaking mind i'm going to just tell you day by day what it actually feels like to fast day one is i wouldn't say it's the hardest day but it's one of the harder days. Genuinely, the first day, going to bed that night with no food after being used to eating food every day is really, really hard. It's really hard to sleep. Like, if you've ever tried sleeping on an empty stomach, it... It is so hard to sleep. I have to agree, Jay. It is really, really hard to sleep because the brain is actually, whether we recognize it or not, it is keeping us awake so we go and eat. So we go and get some food. It's like, hey, where's my food today? What's going on? Like, where's the, where's my, where's my calories? I need to eat. I need to, you know, survive. It's just like a basic survival instinct to push us towards eating. That's why we're kept awake 
When we under eat, if you're under eating and you have trouble sleeping, you need to eat more, especially carbohydrates. Um, if you're not eating at all, like Che was, you're not going to sleep. I didn't sleep for basically 10 days and I was getting these electric shocks and I've had one of my friends as well. She was getting a similar electrolyte imbalance. This is not good. Okay. And I'm sure he would have experienced it too, but he's probably not going to talk about that. It, it's just it's just not a nice feeling day two was probably one of the hardest days in regards to hunger i mean that day you wake up feeling so freaking hungry on day two at least i did and throughout the day i just got more hungry and more hungry and it genuinely required so much willpower not to eat on day two what I did to get over the hunger is just drunk loads of water so my stomach stayed pretty much full up the whole time and therefore I wasn't as hungry. Day three, I woke up and I didn't really feel that hungry. I still felt hungry but not as hungry as day one or two. The reason for this, once your body starts going into a stage called ketosis which is where it starts breaking fat down for energy as opposed to food in your digestive system your body stops feeling the need for food therefore you stop feeling as hungry day four okay but i've got to tell you this ketosis okay we we're talking about this before the ketosis stage is not healthy it's like an emergency state for your body so in a healthy state every cell in your brain and your body runs on glucose okay and you have that stored glucose as well that you have to um, use up before you get into that stage of ketosis okay so it's important to realize that it's not a healthy state and although you are um, running on ketones it's actually toxic for your body Okay, you're, you're actually creating a lot of toxicity. It's not the way to burn fat. You need to um, have enough carbohydrates so you burn fat efficiently. If you take out the carbs, you're not going to burn it in a safe way, if you know what I mean. Haley, Haley, thank you. Love you too, girlfriend. Thank you for the $2. I appreciate that. We'll buy some more bananas for that. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, so let's go on. What was the best day of the fast? I'm not going to lie. I didn't feel any hunger at all. I mean, yes, if I went past a subway and looked inside and someone was eating lunch in there, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I could do with that. But it wasn't like this constant hunger where my brain's just telling me to eat. It was more of a like, if I see food or smell food, then I get hungry. And it's pretty much been that way with hunger since day four. It has gotten a bit harder, maybe not really. Honestly, like I currently right now don't even feel hungry. Thinking about food, looking at food, and smelling food does make me hungry, but not as hungry as you guys would probably expect. But I'm yeah, because your, your, your body and your brain gets into a state of, um, there's a word, innovation, okay? You become, it's like your body is preparing to die. You're literally preparing to die, okay? And that's why you're, you know, you're starting to slow down. All the processes in your body are starting to slow down. You're not as attracted to food. The body is actually preparing to die, so it's never, ever a positive thing to lose your appetite, okay? And a lot of people are like, oh, you know, fasting is really good for healing and everything like that. But, okay, this is something that's really important, okay? Your brain is infinitely wise, okay? Your brain is very wise. You need to listen to it when you have a hunger, okay? When you have a sign from your brain to eat, that means your, your body and your brain need nutrition. But if you say to it, no. I'm not going to feed you today. No, that is going to create a problem in your metabolism. That's going to create a problem in your body and you're going to have to pay it back later. Okay. So you need to listen to your cues. You know, food is not the enemy. Okay. It's okay. It's just, you've got to be discerning. You've got to be smart about what you choose to eat. All right. So I estimated that this guy, the um, pro gamer Jay, he is actually in a deficit of about 90,000 calories, okay? If he fasted for around 28 days, that's around, and he was having maybe before about 3,000 calories a day, because he's a gamer, they sit around a lot, probably about 3,000, so that's around a 90,000 calorie deficit that his body has to make up, and it will make up, it will. We'll talk about that soon. I mean, the first three days will require the most willpower. Let's move on from here a little bit. Let's go to see what he's talking about. 
absolutely okay. freaking amazing. Did you know that 60% of you, 60% of you watching this video, which by the way, it'll be higher than 60% if you live in America or a rich country, which gets a lot of fatty foods, but roughly 60% of you watching this video will have some kind of parasites in your digestive system. If you're the type of person that just gains weight really easily, you probably Look, don't be, he's putting out fear mongering now, okay? Have there are good and there's bad parasites. Basically what parasites do, they oh, trick- Okay, wait, no, no, no. I'm not gonna advertise any sort of propaganda. Like I feel like he's starting to, you know, he says in the start that, um, you know, medical advice, you know, I'm not recommending this and everything, but all throughout the video, he's talking about how much of a good feeling he's got on it. And also, um, you know, saying, this is bad for you. He's kind of talking from a place of authority. So he is recommending it. And I'm not happy about that because I don't want any of you to starve. Okay. Do not ever, ever starve yourself. This is the way that you're going to ruin your metabolism. You're going to, you know, take so much longer to get your weight loss goals and you shouldn't have weight loss goals. You should have goals of becoming the happiest, healthiest, fittest person you know and then your body will come to its happy place in time okay i'm doing like this your body will come to its happy place in time all right i want to have a look at something else okay so this guy this guy this guy let's go here for a second so he's got this my first meal in 28 days and there's pizza and coca-cola pepsi or something and i'm just like what the heck is going on i need to watch this right now Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Hang on. Could you ask me to share my GoFundMe? It's called cool. Amber. Amber, thank you for the $5. This isn't the place to ask that though, okay? This isn't the place. You're, you're welcome to start your own YouTube channel and ask for the GoFundMe. Like, we all have to pay for these things, cavities and everything like that, of course, but you can definitely, you can definitely start a YouTube channel and do that yourself and advertise as well. Just be smart about what you spend your money on. Okay. Really save it. $20. Drodoma. Drodoma, not $20. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is really super sweet. That's really, really appreciated. I'm going to, I'm going to like, oh, I'm going to get a whole lot more bananas for that. Well, this goes a bit funny color. There we go. Thank you very much, Drandoma. All right, ooh, watch out for the bananas. Okay, let's play. Oh my God, I'm really hungry, but. You know what? I have not eaten in 28 days. And if you don't believe me, then I'll link the video where I talked about me not eating for 28 days down below. Here is 40,000 calories, I don't even know, so it's roughly 40,000 calories worth of food. I've got seven. Large pizzas. That is like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh God. Down below. Here is 40,000 calories. I don't even know. That's really, there's so much like suffering there. So much pain and suffering. Like I really, uh, uh, I don't know why he bought all this. I mean, obviously he did it for the YouTube video because it's like, woo, you know, it's a good thumbnail and everything. Just roughly 40,000 calories worth of food. I just wish people would be more conscious, you know, like, and just think about the impact of what this is having on the planet, on their health and on other people's health and on animals. I've got seven large pizzas, a load of chicken, burgers, and two Pepsis. As you can imagine, after not eating for 28 days, you'd be pretty hungry. So um, I think it's finally time to break my fast. I'm gonna go for this, ready guys? 28 days of no food. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm only joking guys. Oh, Obviously, you're not going to eat for 28 days sneaky and you're not going to want to gain all the weight back on. So yes. He, he didn't strike me as someone. If any of you still want this food, because I'm going to light upload it tonight. In fact, do you know what? Leave a like on this video and I'll deliver magically one of these pizzas to your house. But yeah, seriously guys, um, I have actually been eating for like two weeks now, but I'm going to go on to the bit where I actually did just break the fast and it was like the most amazing thing in my freaking life. Right, so I have- Okay, so before we get onto that, Christelle, 
Christiel, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Hi, Freely, love you. If you could help me with starting a vegan diet, please message me on Instagram. <laughs> Definitely watch my video. Thank you for the donation. Definitely watch my videos, okay? Watch my videos because I have like so much information on there. Just binge watch them from the start. I cover everything. I really, really do. I wish I could help you guys on an individual um, basis, but it would be very, very difficult because there's so many people to help. Um, okay, so let's move on to the watermelon. This is awesome. I'm really Corn, happy to see this. 28 days exactly to this time since I last ate, which means I haven't eaten in a whole month because last month was February. So here's the watermelon. Now watermelon is the best thing to break a water fast on. The sure. reason being is it's very high in water and very easy for your stomach to digest because when I'll probably throw up, and it's best to just have a little bit at a time. But honestly, this looks like uh. that looks alright, but you know what this piece in the middle looks a lot nicer. So this is. Do you reckon that's a good amount, or is that too much? Get in there. Right, I probably, honestly, my stomach probably can't handle more. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so, so good. Okay. Because when you fast, like your smell increases, you can taste every. I can even taste different types of water, and I never used to be able to do that. So, all right, I'm gonna do break it. The fast. Just go, go, Three, go, go. 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 Screw the pattern. Go. How does that feel? Oh my! Is your watermelon? Okay, yeah, I can totally relate to his experience because I've done this myself after 10 days as well and it's pretty amazing. Everything just tastes incredible because the brain is like, yeah, just feed me, feed me, okay, feed me. <laughs> so look, oh, Haley, Haley, from more love from Canada. I love you. Thank you, Haley. I appreciate that a lot. $2.20, that's, that's good. That's really, really awesome. Thank you. All, all your donations like and the super chat donations it just means so much to me it really really does it helps me like i always put the money back into my youtube channel anyway so i can bring you guys more exciting formats that's why i love these live streams you know like it's something new it's fun we can all like socialize we can all like chat it's really really good so all right i want to go to he had his first watermelon okay he had his first meal let's go back to his channel all right, so I noticed this is his video that he made um, a couple of months later. Okay, March, April, May. This is a couple of months later. I did say 90,000 calories is how many he um, put his body into a deficit after 28 days. So 90,000 calories, and he's going to make that up within a few months. All right, this guy. All right, Project. Hang on, let me know. All right, let's look at his channel. Okay. So he, he has, he went from being a regular uploader to not uploading for three months. What does that tell you? Okay. He was all happy and everything. He's like doing all videos about it and then didn't upload for three months. And his last video, let's check it out. Oh my God. This woman hasn't seen her mum in 40 years and she's a can anyone else see that he's already gaining the weight back? You can have a look at him here. I can, I can see it clearly. About to finally see her mum. Oh my God. I'm currently giving away... A okay. 10 years and some of them, them literally have... So he's starting to gain the weight back again. And this just reminds me of the Biggest Loser show. You know, people starve themselves. It's semi-starvation. They work out like crazy. Ten dollars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna address you in a moment, Shay. Um, let me just read this before it goes. Though. Your videos have helped me so much with my eating disorder. I went from 78 pounds to a healthy 115 pounds. I owe you to your videos and vegan lifestyle. Thanks so much, Shay. Thank you so much. Wow, I'm so happy that I can help. I'm so happy. That is awesome. Very good. It makes my day. Thank you very much. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I was just on a train of thought here. So look, 
you know, this is what happens with the biggest losers. They train and train and train. They train like crazy, okay? And they eat hardly anything. And like by the end of it, they're like, yeah, look, I look amazing, you know, because it's like a, um, you know, it's a show. So you need to see results. People want to see results. And they show these results and people like all excited, but then you watch them over the next six months or so and they blow right out, okay? Who wants to blow out like that? You don't want to blow out like that. You don't have to blow out like that. You don't have to do it this way. And I recommend, that I want to get Jay, I want to get Jay back on YouTube and on the Raw Tool 4 program. You know, he would gain weight as um, a number of people gain weight because they come from dieting or they come from a restriction. He comes from serious restriction. He comes from starving himself. So initially he would gain a little bit of weight. You can find this in the description below, link to it by the way. Shameless promotion. <laughs> no, but seriously, you know, he would gain weight initially. He would gain weight initially, but it would come down in time if he treated it like a lifestyle. So Jay, Come and hit me up. Come back to YouTube, all right? I mean, I have a feeling that he has gained a lot of weight in the last three months and he is embarrassed about coming back to YouTube. What do you guys think in the chat? Like, I think he is probably feeling embarrassed at this point because he's like talking up fasting, saying it's so amazing, but he has expanded again because you can't, you can't cut corners, okay? You cannot cut corners. It is going to take time for you to lose weight. It's going to take years for you to get fit, okay? It's like... Where you're at now, did it take 30 days to get there? Did it take Jay 30 days to get to the size he was before the fast? No, it didn't. It took a lot longer. Okay, so it's important to remember that. And I want to talk more about this, but I need to make these sessions, you know, a certain size, so not too long, so people afterwards can watch them as well. So remember also you need fiber. If you want to have a deep clean, if you want to have a deep colon clean, you need fiber. And with water fasting, you're not getting that. So don't do water fasting. Don't do starvation. It is really bad for your health. Not recommended. All right. So... Okay, I'm just, thank you, thank you, Azaria, $5, thank you very much, very much appreciated. You can always ask a question when you give a donation, you can ask a question as well and I will try to get to it, but I'm also trying to make these videos so people can watch afterwards as well. So I'm just going to go to the chat just for like a minute or so and then I'm going to have to run or the video is going to be too long and then people aren't going to watch it afterwards. All right, so let me look in the chat. Go team pork chop. Get out of here. You are so inspiring. Thank you very much. What's going on here? La, la, la. What vegan on my choice? I'm gonna look, look, look. Review Crinder. No, no, I'm really inspired. I'm positive. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still really around. What is everyone? I love you. I love you too. My dick has gone through each. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. We've got some spammer here. Let's try and get rid of the spammer. Ever since I went vegan, my dick has got smaller. Help me. I'm sorry, but look, you can, oh my God, how can I get rid of this? Get, oh, whatever. It's okay. I can do it later. That's okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it there because I want, you, I want everybody to be able to watch this video in efficient format. All right. So I love you free birds and I want you to eat enough. Okay. Don't be scared of calories. Don't be scared of fruits and vegetables. It is healthy for you. I can see that the chat is coming through now because it's a little bit delayed. So the questions are coming through. How do you make your metabolism faster? Life with jazz. How you do it is that it takes time. Okay. You focus on becoming fitter. You focus on eating enough. And the way you become fitter is you eat enough. So then you have the energy to exercise and then you sleep well and it all works well together. But if you starve yourself like this, you're going to end up going off YouTube like Jay has, you know, Jay, Jay is basically in hiding because he's likely gained it all back plus some. That's what happens. Every time you starve yourself, every time you force a calorie deficit on your body, you're going to make it up later. You're going to gain it back. And a lot of times your body is going to make you gain even more. It's going to, um, yeah, it's going to make your appetite even bigger, even bigger. So then you're going to um, binge out like crazy and you're going to have more fat in case there's another famine so your body can feast on that fat. Stay weird, gave me $2. Freely love the direction you took your channel. Thank you. I love it too. I'm really enjoying these live streams. If you enjoy the live streams, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that helps me to spread this message and it encourages me to keep going because I know you guys like it and I want to make content that you actually love and that you're enjoying. So, you know, leave comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you subscribe. 
and I have to go. I have to go now. It's 38 minutes in. Look at his Instagram freely. Um, he's got muscle. Yeah, he hasn't been on for a long time. Make a video of Shane. All right, I want Jay to come and try this lifestyle. Just come and try a vegan lifestyle. And do it the proper way, you know, get lean the proper way. All right, vegan keto. Okay, before I go, your friend Jen. Vegan keto is, look, I don't like to, you know, put any other vegan lifestyles down, but basically if you're starving your body and your brain of glucose, of carbohydrates, then you are going to have a binge out in time, okay? You're going to gain the weight back. It's just going against your basic physiology, okay? There's, you know, just look up the Krebs cycle. It's just going against your basic physiology and you don't want to do that, whether it's vegan, whether it's on any lifestyle at all. But, you know, people can do it. You know, they can do it and they can find out this for themselves. I've been at this for a long time, over a decade, okay? I've seen a lot of people come and go. Let's just put it that way. All right, guys, I need to go. I need to go, but I'm going to be back tomorrow. If you want me to come back tomorrow, let me know in the comments below and put some suggestions of what you think I should review. There's this one about ballerinas having like a thousand calorie, oh no, ballerina calorie diet or something like that on YouTube, which I'm going to look up. All right. Okay. Love you, free birds. Bye. I'm going to go. I'm going to leave you. All right. Love you guys.